Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 6 of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. I am of course the Crazy Gamer and today in this episode we are going to have a look at Salvatore's missions. I don't have a vehicle in there. I must be a peasant. Hey, come here. I said come here, damn it. Oh, I ain't catching that. Oh, god damn. And another vehicle just drove straight past. Oh, there we go. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be doing all of Salvatore's missions. Now, his missions prove as a very good platform for a big jump in the story. So we're now going over to go and see him. Now, a new subscriber I got, Brian Weldon. Thank you very much for subscribing and for all the comments. Hopefully the channel will grow. Maybe at a steady rate, maybe it'll be sporadic rates, who knows. But hopefully the channel grows, hopefully the content gets out to more people, hopefully people do enjoy the content. If there's anything I can change about it, then be sure to comment down below what you would like to see different. And if I can do it, then I certainly will. If I need to be funnier, if I need to be louder, quieter, if you want more edited videos, <clears throat> then you know, I will try and get that sorted out for you. But anyway, let's get in with the, well, actual second Salvatore mission. Cutting the grass with a lawnmower, a ride on. Alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty. How dare they? Aware, and they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. They have Google. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob who works the bar at Luigi's. That's a stupid name. He's been name. more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. I'm talking right now. He's taxi home after work. But I'm so not. Follow him. I'm not fucking and if anyone. He's ratting us out. Kill him. You come to the right guy for assassinations, my friend. Okay. So, for those of you that do not know, for those of you that do not follow my Twitter, or follow my Instagram, or have my Snapchat, uh, the next playthroughs on this channel, will, uh, after we finish this one, we will be doing Vice City, and then we will be doing San Andreas. <coughs> so, they'll be fairly good playthroughs to do, and I think they'll be a bit more interactive, because, you know, the protagonists actually speak which is a big help. Anyway, let's go to outside the club. Just got to wait for this dude to come out now. Okay, there is Curly Bob. In he gets. He can't even see me round the corner. How is he getting spooked? Get out of my way. Oh crap. Just sitting back. I really hate these tailing the people missions. They're pretty boring. Police officer. Fuck you, cop. Always trying to get in on my fun. I mean, I've, I've played through this game before. I've just never completed it. I've got very close. I've got up to the last mission, and the last mission I could not do. But, hopefully... For the channel, we can get it done. I've been watching other YouTubers play through this. Oh, shit. I've been watching other YouTubers play through the game, and I've been looking at what strategies they use for the last mission, and I noticed one strategy that seemed to work out pretty well for one guy, so I think that's what I'm going to do. He's going down the docks. Oh, 
Does that taxi driver want to drive any more slowly? Jesus Christ, man. Erosion happens faster than his driving. Okay, there goes Curly. Sorry, little friend. Mr. <gasps> Big that Mouth bitch. Himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I mean. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squeal. Not talk. Okay, I so hate the Leones you. are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Well, he's not loyal at all, is he? Because he's meant to be working for Salvatore. Yeah, he's blabbing off to you, bitch ass. I hate her. Fucking turning on us. Fuck you, Curly. Ha ha ha. No more rats for you, my friend. If you're the rat, then I'm Ren to kill. Ha ha ha. Jokes. Okay, that's that little problem taken care of. Now, let's go for the second mission. Oh god. And uh, one of the big things you've got to worry about in this game is the fact that the cars are made out of cardboard, basically. They take five hits and they're on fire. They, they, they don't take much. Okay, let's roll up to Salvatore's crib. Don't run over that dude. That would be some dire consequences right there. Now, there is a difficult mission coming up. Bomb the base, Act 1, and this is that very mission. I hate it. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. Yeah. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be Why, making a spank mops? on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads. Or rather, one head. Your head. Why I'm only mine? You destroy that spank factory as a person. You're not very good at helping me, are you? Salvatore Leon. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see 8-Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. Okay, then. And you know what the stupidest thing is? That. Bomb the base, Act 1. That was an actual mission. And now, the mission is for 8-Ball, for some reason. So now we're going to go and see the homie that we saw at the start of the game. Gonna roll up on our good friend April, our bomb expert. Let's go and roll up on him. Oh crap, Oi! over we go. Driving like Lewis Hamilton level skill there. Bomb to base, act two. No, I'm dreading this. Dreading it. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. We're not using fireworks, we're using bombs. Expenses. But you know with me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come a hundred grand. A hundred grand, you say? I have 900 of those thousands. So let's do it. Bomb to base, act two, again. Okay, let's do this thing. I yeah, can let's do it. To detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Oh god. The closer and closer it gets to this mission, the worse I feel. The worse and worse I feel. I mean, I can't even drive a car, let alone a sniper boatload of goons. Okay. Oh, I'm just not looking forward to this. I know this mission will not be done on the first attempt. You got my back, right? You look like Mike Tyson. Oh. 
Hopefully the fresh Prince of Bel Air over there has my bloody back. Oh god, here we go. Now you'll see why this mission is so difficult. Come on, get in 8-Ball. Oh please, stop wasting time. Good man, okay. So we're going to go back to the docks. You saw the big boat in the background in the Curly Bob cutscene. Basically, there's going to be loads of goons on that boat. Loads of them. And we have to shoot them. But the problem is, 8-Ball runs like a dick and just goes and gets himself killed. Fantastic. But we're going to try. I might try and block the entrance off to stop him getting on. Get a good vantage point. Then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Or I could just snipe them all, then give you a signal to go on, and then it's easier. But instead, no. I have to fire a shot and then you run on like a complete nincompoop. See, there's quite a few. Let's interrupt this little tea party. Oh, God. Now, uh, someone actually came up with a pretty cool uh, strategy for this. And basically what they did was they boxed him in. Maybe I'll try and do that. Who knows? It's worth a try. You might as well strategize. I don't care how stupid I look right now. If I pass, I'll happily look stupid. Right. That's blocked him in there. But the car hasn't really, has it? Let's just close that gap. You are not moving, 8-Ball. Then again, neither am I. You know what? Can you let me out, please? There we go. Now, how's that car looking? That's nah, alright, he won't get out of there. But hopefully they don't shoot them fucking explosive barrels either. Otherwise we're a bit, you know. Oh, really? Oh, for God's sake, the van despawned. Really? They're already fighting? God damn. I really Gringo. I can't even remember how to use this damn thing. I really Gringo. You're going to be sorry. Right, so it's X to zoom out, square to zoom in. Wrong or die. Come on. Look at the skill on display. Look at that. That was genius. Dude, we smashed it. <sighs> Holy crap. My god. I felt like the American sniper after that. That was awesome. Go, Titanic 2. Well, there we go. All done. Yes. Yes. 
150 grand, 150 smackaroonies. Give me those thousands of ducats. Holy shit. Nerves were high on that one, but we did it. Surprisingly. That was terrifying. Anyway, now that that one's over. My god. You, you don't, you, honestly. I remember that mission being a lot more difficult. Usually, eight ball runs on the boat like a dick, and he just gets shot. It's worse than the PS2 version, like the aiming, because it's so sensitive. Hey, guess what? I'm part of the cartel. Gotcha! I'm not really. Last requests. It's my favorite cleaner. I don't clean. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. Yeah? There's a car around the block from Luigi's club. The inside is covered in brains. Lovely. We to help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Well, you did make Take up his mind. You made his mind up all over the car. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Let's go and do this shit. So we've got a car that's covered in brains. Absolutely delicious. Ooh. Don't blame me. Blame the person that put the brakes on this car. It didn't break. So now we've got to go near Luigi's Club. Near Luigi's Club, I should say. Let's do this thing. This is Maria. The car's a trap. Meet me at the slip south of the Callahan Bridge. Well, fuck you, Salvatore. I ain't going down there, you prick. I'm staying away from you. What an asshole. But there we go, guys. The car is a trap. And in a minute, you will see why. Maria's about to explain everything. She's actually about to do something useful with her stupid head. Here we are. Big developments in the story. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. Don't you are me useless. Look, you're a marked man on the mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... This is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's Asuka. She's someone we can trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. Hello, we Asuka. Get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna kill that arsehole now. I'm gonna kill him. But first, we're gonna drive a boat. So remember I said that you can't get the last two packages in Portland until you get to the second island. This is why. Because you need a boat. I love how the characters actually aren't saying anything. They're just making weird hand movements. It's like they're trying to solve an invisible Rubik's Cube. Or trying to explain the recipe to an invisible pizza. But, welcome to Staunton Island. Beautiful. How wonderful. So this is where the bulk of the story will be. Asuka and I are going to have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to Maybe. lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready and you and me can have a little chat. Sure, whatever. You've sold me a little bit short, haven't you? 
motherfucker, you've sold me a bit short. So, we're gonna go and save now. News just in from the traffic desk. Repairs to the Callahan Bridge have been completed. Since the explosion, engineers have been working around the clock to get traffic flowing between Portland and Staunton Island once again. Well, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Callahan Bridge has been repaired. Which means we can just drive over it. I mean... It's an upgrade. From our first safe house. But it's not much of an upgrade. We're going to save. As that is the end of Salvatore's missions. But it is not the end of Salvatore himself. So, now we are going to do this first mission for Asuka. And we're going to see what it has in store for us. Oh shit. Haha, <laughs> skills lend it. Okay, let's do this thing. First mission for Asuka. Sayonara, Salvatore. Or Salvatore. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. I'll hold let's you to lay that. Our cards on the table. I haven't Yakuza, got any cards. And I know you what do you want to play? Salvatore Rummy? Leone's Poker? Family. I can give Maybe you Dead Man's Hand? Organization. But first you must prove to me that your ties with the Mafia are truly broken. Salvatore Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about three hours time. Make sure okay. he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. Well, ain't that beautiful. What a weird relationship the three of us are going to have, it seems. Well, we better get going. So now, as you can see, we've got to go and assassinate Salvatore. Now, remember the sniper we used for bomb to base? That weapon will be very useful here right now. There we go. So we've got to get there before half five. It's now four. That car was on the left-hand side of the road. Welcome to Portland, thank you. Uh, it turned to the right-hand side of the road, then immediately turned back to the left. The people in this game cannot drive. Was driver's ed executed before you took your lessons? Did you get your license in a cereal box? The triads hate us. But now, as we remembered, uh, the Mafia hate us as well now. So what you want to do, you just want to go down here. The sniper from the last mission will be very handy. The sniper from bomb to base will be very handy. You want to go up here. And you want to get to this vantage point. If you can, jump on the ledge. And then pull out the sniper. Now, if you don't do it this way, there is a large risk you will mess up. Because there are about two or three cars full of Mafia guys that are wielding SMGs, I think it is. And now, we wait. And we wait. And we wait. Aha, 
Here they come. See them there, look. Right there. Here come all the gang. Gang, gang. Sex Club 7. Instead of S Club 7. Very good. <laughs> he just ran over one of his own guys. What? Oh, crap. Yep, you see, they got big old fucking shotties. And also the fact that I messed up. Just go, man, just go. Oh, my God. Oh, we ain't gonna get him, are we? Come on. Motherfucker! You son of an anus! Oh my god. So apparently if you sit on the ledge, like, if you just sit on the floor, you're fine. But if you get up on that ledge that I was on, uh, they can see you. I was wondering why they were just running across the road. I was going to say, that's pretty unusual behaviour. They don't usually do that. But that's why. Because I decided to leave my brain cells in bed today. Ah, oh, well, we better get back and redo this mission. Wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah, that's El Burro. I was wondering what the hell that payphone icon was. Yeah, that was a bit of a failure. So as you see, if you don't do it the right way, you will more than likely fail. Because if you don't die, you will have such a small window of time to actually get him that the odds are really stacked against you. Which is really annoying. I also really wish this welcome sign wouldn't always, oh my god, or wouldn't always pause to say, oh, welcome to this island. I don't really care. Asuka, I have failed you. I apologise. Not my fault, though. Okay? The dudes had eagle vision. I don't see how they saw me. I mean, I was like Spider-Man, and they still noticed me. God damn this dumb game. <sighs> Not impressed. Not impressed at all. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's stop being an idiot and stop failing, and let's do it right. Again, the sniper will be used, but this time I will not be so retarded. We are almost at a million already, and I think there is a trophy for when you get to a million dollars. I know we're in Portland. I know, I know, I know. Let's do this. So obviously we hate Salvatore. But the problem is, we are the only one that hates Salvatore. Everybody and their mother hates us. The triads hate us, and now the Mafia hate us. And if they don't hate us yet, they're about to. Let's just say that. However, if I snipe him from up here, how will they see if it was me? How will they know? See, the logic is lacking. Very much so. Now we play the waiting game again. I'm guessing it's okay. 
Yeah, we'll be able to hit him. Come on. Show your ugly face so I can shoot it straight off your shoulders. Now hopefully all these motherfucking Mafia dudes will not see us. And if they do, I call bullshit. Because I am well hidden. So... Mafia dudes should be rolling up in a second. And when they do, we're going to pop their little leader. He seems old enough anyway. Come on, motherfucker, show your face. Very sorry, done making you watch through this. But you know, that's the beauty of it all. It is a journey. Okay, there are two guys, and there are the other two guys. This time, they do not see us. We really only have one chance at this shot. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can to give myself as big an opportunity. Come on. Get him in that sight, and we're going to pop him. We are going to pop him like a balloon. Nailed him. We got him. Oh, we got him. You know what? Let's end the video with a bit of fun. Murder 30 Diablos. Oh god. successful in the mission and I pushed my luck too far that is difficult I just realized why why was I on this floor why didn't I just run up the stairs and take him down from that vantage point I question my decision making sometimes we'll go back and do that again Now you see, the Mafia do not like us either. And now they have shotguns. Which is not fun. And I think soon enough the Diablos won't like us either. Where is it? Maybe we have to go around the block a bit. Wait for it to spawn back in. I don't care for the radio.
One chance at it. I thought it only disappears once you complete it, and I did not complete it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and save, and then I'll come back because I want to end it with that rampage. Fuck you guys. I hate the lot of you. Nice. Patriot. Yeah, we'll get this rampage done and then we'll call it a day. We'll save. You know, if we spot any rampages, we'll just do them. And then the rest of them, I'll go and I'll look for them then I'll do them off camera it's not the fact of me doing them that would be boring it would be the fact of me just running around the whole island trying to find them all you know as a as a viewer I wouldn't want to watch that no it's not there that's really strange I thought they respawned. That's kind of weird, actually. That is kind of weird. What happens if I... Uh, I don't know. What if I go up here and then come back down again? I mean, I don't know why that would make a difference, but... No. That's pretty stupid. Well, anyway, guys, that will be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this has been The Crazy Gamer, and I'll see you in the next episode.